When I was about three, my father gave me a fishing rod and taught me how to fish. So I grew up learning what fish eat, how the tides affect them, and how the environment works, all to help me learn how to catch fish. And what became a passion and a hobby became a career. Within an engineering company like Opus, the process is to understand the problems, but to actually be able to come up and participate in developing solutions. Buyal Crossing is a low-level causeway that's used by people in remote rural communities to access the main highway and get kids to school. And it was an old run-down crossing, but as a solid causeway going across the river, it also created a barrier for fish migrations. So it was necessary for the local community, but it was a problem for the environment. And then during the floods of 2011, 12 and 13, the causeway was damaged and that created an opportunity to reduce the flood problem but also to create some better outcomes for the local native fish as well. Upstream is breeding habitat for the Australian lungfish, an old fossil species. They've been recorded for more than 100 million years and it was really important to be able to get the design of this causeway right. Well, the first problem was that the original causeway only had three 60 centimetre pipes going underneath, which meant that when the water flowed through the pipes, it was going way too fast for fish to swim through in the other direction. So we ended up doing uh, over 30 different hydraulic model simulations to work out a configuration of box culverts that was going to lower the velocity of water sufficiently for fish to be able to swim against the flow, but at the same time not cost too much money. In terms of the success of the project, it was actually fascinating. This particular design, we ended up coming up with three different options for fish to, to cross the road effectively. When the velocity is low, the fish can swim through the culverts. During slightly higher flows, when the water is just flowing over the top of the culvert, we've got two rock ramp fishways, like a set of rapids, that fish can actually swim up and then swim across the road. And then when the whole causeway goes underwater completely, the water velocities tend to be much lower, so fish can just swim up around the edge. So when the end of the day, we've got a smoother, safer, uh, river crossing for local residents, which means they don't have to drive an extra 50 kilometres around to get their kids to school, but fish can now swim through the crossing under virtually any flows. So we've got a good outcome for the environment, we've got a great outcome for the local community, and we were able to deliver the project within the budget that the council had for the, at the time.